back again with another update video. Uh, I finally had the time to make uh, this this uh, conversion video. So uh, I want to show you all the parts that you need to convert your Tahoe from the regular Chevy Tahoe look to the uh, Silverado look that everybody is going after. Me, I was very lucky. You guys seen the videos I always posted. I'm always at the junkyard every chance that I get looking for deals and searching for parts. And uh, I mean, I got very, very lucky. So I wanna show you guys everything I got at the junkyard for a little or nothing. So here's the parts that you need. Of course, you know you need the uh, Silverado front bumper. I'm not too sure how, how good it's showing. Then you also have the, uh, the grill, the headlights, and yes, back there is the HD hood. I was very lucky to find the HD hood. And also I have the driver's side, passenger side fenders, and then also the brackets. You need those brackets for the headlights. Now, let's go ahead and uh, start scripting this truck down. And I'm gonna try to show you guys the best that I can with this iPhone, uh, all the parts that you need, I mean, all the parts you have to take off to go ahead and do this conversion. Uh, what I'm gonna start off with first will be the hood because it takes two people to do that. So let's start with that. So for me, the easiest way I found to do this hood is you wanna keep this bracket on with these bolts already and keep this on. What you wanna do is remove this screw. And I don't know if you guys can see this screw that's back here. Remove these two screws and this hood comes straight up. And then also what you have to remove let me uh, lay the hood down. This plastic cover. I don't know how good it's showing because there's so much sunlight outside. But all you want to do is just pull up on this plastic cover a little bit. And boom. It comes right off. So then you can get a better access to this bolt right here. And that's a part of the hood. So let's go ahead and take that off. It's the same thing on the opposite side. Remove this plastic cover. So you better put a, two wrenches on this bolt get this off so now once you have your hood off the next step that I'm gonna do I want to remove my headlights I want to remove my grill and then work myself down to my bumper then my well actually my fenders then my bumper so let's go ahead and do that now uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube that showing you guys how to remove the uh, the front grill it's very very simple you have the I don't know how good it's shown with all the sunlight but you have these screws right here that you will get a flat hair screwdriver, I don't know if you can see the back, and that you would just twist it, and then the grill will just come out. And then usually you will have one 10 millimeter bolt that's right here. And then after that, you'll have one clip right here in the corner. And see how, I don't know if you guys can see it. You might not want to do your truck that bad unless you're getting ready to paint it. So you wouldn't want to scratch up the front end, but that's pretty much it. The whole front piece comes out. So now as you can see, I got half of the front end completely tear it down. So now it's time to remove the fenders. This right here, penetrating lube, is gonna be your best friend because you're gonna need that hell of a lot. So now what we wanna do is get a half inch drive and start taking out these bolts along the fenders. This is one right here. And then we also have these two that's right here and a few other ones I'm gonna show you as the video goes on. Now we have two more in the car, one at the very top and one right there at the bottom. So now, now this will be a good time for you to have a, uh, a pretty decent length extension so that you build a reach both of them. And then uh, I'll show you the rest as we continue to go along. So now what we have to do next is remove all of these clips and fasteners from the fender well. And then we have one more bolt that holds this fender on in place. And there's, I can't, I'm trying to look at the camera and find the bolt at the same time. So you gotta excuse me. Boom, there you go. I recommend if somebody's gonna do this, for you to do this thing first thing in the morning, at least if you don't have nowhere to go, and this is your first time doing it, I would say, you know, like on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, when the weather's really nice and you have time to take time and, and focus on what you're doing, 
don't lose none of the bolts and just take your time and don't rush. All right, let's go ahead and take this last bolt off. And then next, we'll be moving this uh, plastic in the fender well, and I'll show you the rest of the bolts that's inside of there. All right, so now to continue to remove the fender, right here was my, uh, my extra battery. It's actually inside the truck. This truck came with uh, two batteries. I have one over there in the corner and one that sits right here. I think it's in the back. Oh yeah, also I, I got lucky and found some cross drill and slotted rotors for the Tahoe 2 from the junkyard. So that's how I take it to my buddy's shop and he's gonna um, clean them up for me and he's also gonna cut them. Then I'll paint this and put them back on the truck. So there's my extra battery. So, you have a few bolts you have to take out. Right here in the air filter box, there's a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolt that goes here, one that goes here, one that goes here also. And then in the battery box and also the reservoir hold down, there's another 10 millimeter bolt that goes here, a uh, 10 millimeter bolt that goes there. And also you have three on the back, uh, one here, one here and one here all that has to come off then the last bolt you have to remove is this one right here that's the last one that goes on to the fender then the fender will come right off and you can do the same procedure on the other side but uh, I'll show you where all the bolts are and the majority of these bolts are 10 millimeter and also the socket that I'm using I think it's a half inch socket to take out the rest of the big bolts and uh, an extension of course and that penetrating loop, you gotta have that. All right, let's continue to get this stuff out of the way before it get too dark. So now here comes the fun part. You have screws that's here in this battery tray that you have to remove also. And then this fuse panel. All right, you have to remove this fuse panel. There's screws right here. And there's also screws right here. You have to remove the cover. You tilt this forward. Make sure you take the batteries out, of course. And then you have a 10 millimeter bolt that's right here in the corner. And you have another one that's right here. You have one that's right here and one that's right here. And then this will be removed from the fender. And then don't forget to take out this bracket also. You have bolts coming in from the bottom and then bolts right here on the side. So yeah, I got my buddy with me, Tyler. He helped me take apart this car. You got a YouTube and Instagram, bro? Yeah, you don't want no followers. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want no followers. But uh, yeah, man. If you want to do this conversion, I suggest you start early, early in the morning to give yourself time. Because right now the sun is starting to set. How long do you, you think we've been thinking right now? For about two, three hours? Yep. Yeah, about two, three hours. And the last thing we got, the last piece to the puzzle is this front bumper. And once this front bumper go on, we can start. With that pile that's over there. See? What's going on, family? It's your boy Kenny G488. I finally got done with the truck. You can actually see it right now in the background. So you don't have to be afraid. My phone died when I was trying to continue with the video. So I just went along and finished out the truck. But everything lines up the exact same way. The hood, uh, the fender. Uh, only thing you have to do, the grill. Only thing you have to do with a little bit of modifying is the front bumper. And I really wish I was able to show you guys how I modified mine, but it's too late. Uh, what I probably end up having to do later on is I probably end up taking it back off and then showing you guys how I was able to make a bracket to hold the bumper in place. But uh, all the screws line up the exact same way and everything goes back in the exact same way. And I got lucky and I found me set of 20 inch um, Silverado stock rims and I threw them on the truck for right now. So the only thing I'm left to do is get the truck painted, but uh, very happy with it. There she goes. Silverado, HD hood, front station, bump of rear headlights. Uh, let's see what she looks now. With those stock Silverado wheels, 20 inch. I think the tires are like two. 275, 55, 20. I think they have PF Goodrich or Coopers. But I don't want to make the video drag out too much longer, man. But that's the end result of the, of the, uh, of the conversion. That's my conversion now. So, the only thing I got left to do right now is just get it painted and put the 28s back on it. We do the roof rack. 
and um, do the music. So I just want to say thank you guys for, for sticking with me for so long while I was doing this bills on my other bills. Uh, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and always, if you comment to me, I'll comment back to you. With all my new subscribers, welcome. And uh, let's get it started, man.